cell phones are the latest tool for cracking down on criminals. Police are using that tracking information from the phone to catch the bad guys. But some people think it's an invasion of privacy. Jennifer Heron has more on that debate. The GPS signal on cell phones is basically a tracking device. Many of us use it for directions or to find out where our kids are. Now police are using the safety feature to track criminals. And that has stirred up the heated issue of public safety versus privacy. If the police are not using a GPS device put on a car, but rather just tracking a car or a person using signals from a cell phone, in other words, with no trespass is involved, then the Fourth Amendment still does not apply, and there's no constitutional regulation. That was a Supreme Court ruling in the case Jones versus the United States. Assistant District Attorney Jan Norman says heightened regulation could hamper cases based on urgency. So there was just a homicide trial yeah. where the victim's phone was taken and they were able to get the GPS latitude, longitude coordinates for where the victim's phone was in order to, you know, locate the suspects. A court order or subpoena may be required to obtain call records or other data. Just to assure that everything is on the up and up, the phone company will demand some kind of court authorization, but it does not need to be a warrant based on probable cause. Professor Slobogan has written books on this topic and points to concerns of tracking being used to even catch speeders. But Norman says police are tracking the phone, not you. Law enforcement is not tracking everyone going to the grocery store and rent, going to work every day and where they shop and doing things like this. Now, when this evidence does finally enter the courtroom, it doesn't stand alone. That cell phone evidence is paired with other evidence. And then a TBI official comes in to help out and explain that evidence to the jury to make it clear. Jennifer Heron, Channel 4 News. The American Bar Association has introduced some standards that would require police to notify anybody they track. Now, of course, that notification would happen after the fact, so it would not jeopardize any investigations.